Is my week on right? I know, because that's literally what I was looking at. I was like, this fucking piece. Yes, this Learning lace front, right. bitch. Yes. It is what? Thursday, Thursday. And I'm taking over. So, <laughs> no thinking about this. We have our little drink. In this video, Cheers. you guys. Cheers. In this video, you guys are going to learn the steps that you need to take or what you need to do before you go to a real estate agent and um, you're looking to purchase your home. Also, we're going to be talking about marketing, you guys, and how it's impacted your business. Exactly. Yep. I, I want to know from you because I love your Thirsty Thursdays. Hence, <laughs> why we're here. Why we're drinking. Why we're here. <laughs> Let me tell you, I was a little apprehensive about anybody taking over Thirsty Thursday because I'm very possessive. Yes. But if I'm going to trust anybody, I'm going to trust Miguel. Yeah. So. Yes. <laughs> so stay tuned, you guys. Before we do go ahead and get started with this video, please go ahead and follow him on Instagram. No te equivoques. Follow him on Instagram, and if, if you have energy, girl, hit the subscribe button. It's somewhere <laughs> over there. It's, it's somewhere down there, over somewhere. there. Yeah. Over there. Ah. <laughs> um, you guys, let's just get started with the video. Okay. Stop looking at the fact that we're 20. We're totally. We're 20. And we did not plan this out, we by didn't. the way. We just showed up, and I was like, is that what you're wearing? And he said yes. And I was like, it's on my look, but yeah. <laughs> he kind of looking. He looking good. He look, looking you know good. what? We'll take a vote. Yes. Down there? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, uh, 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 <laughs> he's doing that on my channel. On his uh, channel, yeah. Okay. He's taking over Thursday Thursday, but you guys are going to vote. Who wore yes, best? Yes, yes, yes. And it's just the color, best. Best. It's just uh, the color. It's just the color. Uh, B1, B2. <laughs> Drop a comment down below. Uh, ah, that's the, okay, so you guys, before Thursday Thursdays um, get started, before we let you guys know what you need to do uh, before you buy a house for the first time, and before we talk about marketing, I'm gonna switch it up on y'all. I'm unpredictable, like my um, mental status. Uh, the, okay, so we're gonna make the drink first. I'm gonna let you take over. What awesome. ingredients do we need? So, the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're obviously going to need your handy dander shaker yes it's a good pick too or a good video yes so you're gonna need this you're going to need give it about two ounces or four i'm not gonna judge you you know depending on how heavy you want the margarita <laughs> of some tequila your preferred tequila we're using uh fortaleza for today yes um but you're gonna for want that today. for today <laughs> um and then you are going to want some fancy dandy contreal and don't come at me. I know I'm not pronouncing it right. I am not French. I never took French, but it is an orange liqueur. So if you can't find this, you can just get any orange liqueur at your liquor store. You're going to want to do about one and a half uh, ounces of this. Uh, I like mine a little heavy, so one and a half. Does it have alcohol in it? Yes, it has alcohol in it. Don't ask me the percentage because I don't know. Me, I'm like, <laughs> uh, this is strong. It's 40%. Okay, so what was it? One and a half? Uh, one and a half, yep. I think my audience is going to need two to four. Two to four. So two to four people. <laughs> If you know, you know. Yeah, and then I usually use freshly squeezed lime juice. And if you're using freshly squeezed lime juice, it's a whole line. Um, for today's purposes, because they ain't nobody gonna be chopping and dicing and doing all that kind of stuff on this channel. We used <laughs> organic dough, organic dough, lime juice. So you want to do about one ounce of that. If you like it a little bit more tart, you're going to mm -hmm. do a little bit more, but about one ounce is more than enough. Some people even do three fourths. Yes. So. And that's, um, what is it called? GMO um, certified and USD. USDA organic. Some etiquette. So, like, it, it's really good. And then uh, you're going to do some blue agave uh, for the sweetener, or you can do simple syrup, but I think I like that better. It, yeah, it's healthier. Yeah, it's healthier. It's, it's better. Yeah. I, I do like this better. And then last and not least, you're going to do some limes, of course, some margarita salt. Yeah. Be careful with the salt, people, though, because it has had a lot of shit done. <laughs> when we drink a lot of salt, we wake up swollen. Yeah. Like, swollen. Yeah. Like, just here and here. Chemistry so, 101. Be careful. Retains water. Just do like. Yeah. But we rim the yes. whole the whole glass okay. up. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna wake up swollen. I ate all my fucking sal. We decided to do a liquid diet today, so we're not eating. We're just gonna drink it, right? I love shakes. <laughs> They're so good. I know. I don't know if this is the kind of shake that you're gonna get all your nutrients okay. in, but I guarantee you one thing. Thirsty Thursday is about one thing, making you feel yes. good and making you feel a little yes, cute. Yes, yes. So this is definitely making this feel cute. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so we are going to go off camera real quick. We're going to make this because if we did it on camera, I would have fell. So I'm a little late. 
I'm a little late. Okay. Well, I gotta tell you something though. Yes. I did forget an ingredient though. Oh, what is it? But it's an optional ingredient, so you don't have to use it. We are using the new Topo Chico hard seltzer. Yeah. This, oh, is not a paid, this is not a paid okay. sponsorship, by the way, but I am using the tangy lemon lime um, just to top it off to give it a little bit of a fizz. Mm -hmm. So okay. this is optional, by the way. So There's more alcohol. In there, There is. If you want more alcohol, definitely use that. You guys, I'm going to time lapse it. We're going to do all of that. Yes, I'm going to show you exactly how to make it. Okay. Margaritas are one of my favorite cocktails to make. You're gonna need about two ounces of your preferred tequila. If you're feeling a little brave, go ahead and go for three ounces. Uh, you're gonna do about an ounce and a half of Contreal. If you don't have Contreal or can't get it, any kind of triple sec will work. Once you have that in there, I usually use freshly squeezed lime juice. You're gonna want about an ounce of this. Uh, for today's purposes and to save us some time, we are using bottled organic lime juice, but I promise you it does beat your traditional margarita mix. Then we're gonna add a three, four, seven ounce of agave nectar. If you don't have agave nectar, you could always use your basic simple syrup as well. We're gonna add ice to our shaker, shake it up a few times until you feel that getting really, really cold in your hands. Once that's done, we're gonna get our glass ready to get it rimmed with some salt. Once we have the salt on there, of course, for aesthetics, uh, you can use any kind of ice. I personally like to use a nice big cube of ice. Aesthetically, it looks nicer, and also it doesn't melt as fast, so you don't get a diluted down cocktail. Uh, once you have that there, you're gonna pour in your margarita, garnish it with a nice lime wedge, and enjoy. Cheers. This drink is freaking out. Phenomenal people, you know me, I'm a little bit tipsy already. Mm. He's not, he's lying. Um, no sicky <laughs> broken. He's okay. taking like three sips of it. There's no way. <laughs> okay, so my question is, where the did this idea come from? Thursday, Thursday. You know what? It was honestly, I was trying to find a good balance. You know, I was doing real estate for a while, like five, six years. And uh, I spent a lot of money on advertising that wasn't really doing much for me. What form of advertising? Like your regular, like Zillow online type of stuff. I would pay like newspapers to promote me and my name and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I would get some response. Can I ask you a very, very personal yeah, yeah, question? Yeah. How much money on a monthly basis? I think on a monthly basis, the most that I was spending was probably between like 1100 to like $1,500 a month for okay. marketing. I mean, that's okay. You know, yeah. and, um, and, but this was print media. You know, this wasn't like online presence. It was just like print. So I didn't really feel like the return of investment was there. So I had to like take like, okay, what do I like to do? I love to drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I love to drink. Like I if absolutely- you know, you know. Yeah, I absolutely love to drink. And uh, I was like, but how can I take that and apply that to a marketing, especially in real estate? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like I, I was, kind of battling that and then I said you know what I think from my youngest clients to my oldest clients everybody likes a good cocktail yes. whether whether you like to drink or whether you don't like I think like if you don't like to drink every once in a while you're on vacation you're celebratory yeah. mood like a good cocktail you know you like something fun to like drink so I was like you know what I'm gonna create the concept of Thirsty Thursday yes yeah and hence taking over Thursday Thursday <laughs> <laughs> But um, when I did it, initially when I started, it was horrible. Like if you go back and look at some of my original Thirsty Thursday videos, the worst. I was trying to do like interview segments kind of like this, but it was super boring. It was just about like market numbers yeah, yeah. and like, you know, cause I thought like it was gonna be engaging to the consumer. Like if you're trying to buy a house, I figure like, all right, you want to know how to do it, you know, which we're mm -hmm. gonna get into later, mm -hmm. but you want to know how to do it. But then I came to realize I don't need to be shoving it down people's throat yes. every week. But what people enjoy it's like a good cocktail a good drink you know everybody likes that so i got into the concept yes. it's been working out great for me i mean the response has been amazing i love it there has been maybe one one week that i skipped i was on vacation yeah i was on we vacation we were not following each other no we were not following because no. i would have reposted yeah. um, where where is freaking jamie aguilar has anybody seen him yeah, because yeah. i have not seen my thirsty well, thursday it was funny it's funny you say that because that's actually what happened like i i went on vacation and i was like you know what i'm not gonna worry about it this week i'm just not yeah. gonna do it i wasn't prepped for it you know like whatever Next thing you know, I got like three or four messages, like private messages are like, hey, where's your Thirsty Thursday recipe this week? 
So obviously I knew people were watching. Yes. And then when I started actually like seeing how many like referrals or customers I would get from Thirsty Thursday, I was like, oh my God. No te equivoques. Yeah, like I'm like, this marketing is working. Yes. I'm like, and it's technically not free. Yes, it's me making the drinks, but the alcohol still costs money, the stuff to yeah. make it, but it's nothing compared to like the marketing I was spending on before. Yes. You know, so like, I'm happy with it. I'm gonna do it until like people tell me otherwise or like I stop seeing the likes or you know whatever. But like right now it's working. I think it's a common avenue that we could all get yes. behind. You know, yes. like who doesn't like a good cocktail? Yes. You know, so I'm like, that's what I'm doing and that's what's been working and I'm gonna continue to do it. I love it and yeah. I will continue to watch. <laughs> you guys better follow him on freaking Instagram. Yeah, it's every week, every Thursday, literally a new recipe, new way to do a cocktail. Some of them are simpler than others. Some of them get a little complicated. I make my own syrups. I make all that. I get all oh, Martha Stewart. So technical. I get oh. all Martha Stewart on you guys. Oh, all oh, Martha Stewart. Yeah. Um, so on Netflix, like um, on The Bride of Chucky, um, The Bride of Chucky just got added to Netflix, you guys. Um, <laughs> what does she said? Um, when unexpected company pops up, what does Martha Stewart say? We improvise. We improvise. We improvise. So, yeah. okay. Like we can do it todo. Okay, I'm down. We improvise today. We didn't, yes. I didn't want to squeeze a fresh line. So. Yes. I just improvise with organic yes. lime juice. <laughs> and it's what organic and USDA certified. Yes, certified. Yes. Thank you. Certified. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So let me have a sip. Un momento. I love it. Let me um, have a sip too because I've been slacking on mine. He's only had like three sips of his, but. <laughs> 